creating an auto text by just using html css and javascript so this is what we are going to be building so it will first of all take a little bit of time to write this text and then it will take a bit of time to remove this text okay so we are going to be creating there by just using html and css so without wasting any further time now let's jump right into our code error and write your code all right so before getting into the project first of all let me just create a folder given name of o16 of like auto text inside this folder we are going to be creating three files like index.html and then uh, style.css and then just write main or app.js for javascript file okay so starting from the first thing is that we have to first of all write some code and then launch this in our live server okay so this is looking cool so now let's change the number to like auto text and also link it with our css file and our javascript file okay so then i'm going to just hide this metadata for now and now let's just focus on our paragraph so we are going to be just writing our paragraph and then span so let me make it bigger so that we can see everything we have to give a class of javascript or js and now we are going to be writing a javascript inside it and outside that we are going to be just writing is and then span we have to give a class of like type text and then here we are not going to be writing anything because this text is going to be coming from this uh, javascript okay so outside of that let me just zoom out a bit um, we are going to be creating a new span with the class of cursor because we are going to have to have some cursor and here we are going to be writing an html entity which will just gives us that cursor okay and bsp and that's going to be there and this is quite simple and easy so before getting into a css we are going to be first of all writing a javascript for that so it should start working so then we can just provide a little bit of style for that so we are going to be starting from the first thing so let me just make it a bit smaller so that we can see everything all right so that's that so the first thing which you have to do for a javascript is to just grab a few things the, the first thing we would need is this type uh, text container because we are going to be rendering our text right here and then we would also need this cursor to like uh, erase or uh, add more content so it will just blink a bit okay so we are going to be writing like const type text span it will now equals to document dot query selector and here we are going to be just write like typed uh, text right here and then const cursor and it will be now equals to document dot query selector of a cursor so now let me just log both of them to the console like type text uh span and let me just duplicate it and change this to cursor and now let's open our browser or developer tools so this is our type text and we don't have nothing inside that so that's why we cannot see that and this is our cursor and we don't have any style or whatsoever so that's why we cannot see that as well all right so that's that the next thing which you have to do is to just create a few variables so let words will be equals to like array of like javascript is awesome javascript is fun and then javascript is cool and javascript is live and javascript is famous and sometime javascript can be weird okay so this is our word text the next thing which you have to do is to just create a new variable or constant what you want to call it this one will be also constant because we want to change the value of that and then we have to just write like typing delay okay and it will just take two uh, seconds and then we have another which is like erasing delay and then we will duplicate this one as well and then we have a new letter delay so new letter delay and it will be now equals to 2000 okay so i'll just write a comment for that like delay between current and next text okay and the next variable which you have to create is just write like a counter index variable and then we have to create a new variable given name of like char index or character index and that's going to be there okay so for now it will not do anything but we need to have these variables for now so i'll just remove this comment so that we can see everything a bit clear so now we just uh, grab two elements and we uh, create a few variables for ourselves so now let's create two functions and the first one will be a type function which allows us to just type not us but this um ui to just type and the next function will be for erasing the text okay so i'm gonna just create a first function i'm just giving name of like type and inside this type function let me zoom in a bit 
we are going to be checking first of all if character index like this character index is less than words index so index where is the words words is this one uh, index dot length so what do you mean by that like if this index length is less than this character index so then we have to just uh, provide this logic like uh let me zoom out a bit uh type text span dot text content and it will be now equals to you want to append and now you want to append this words and then index dot char add so now let me make it a bit bigger so we can see it a little bit better so then we have to write a char add a method and here we are going to be just passing like character index right here okay save it and then we have to also increment our character index which is this one right here okay so this is the first step and now if this fails so then we have to jump right into the else block which is just write like set timeout of erase and then we have to just provide and this erase is a function which we are going to be just creating in a second and here now we have to pass like a new letter delay which is this variable right here and it will take 2000 uh, so it means like it will take two seconds okay so this is our set timeout function and this is it about our type function oh i forgot one thing i'm going to copy this one and paste right here and it will be uh, a type right here it will be this function right here okay so save our file and now let's create our new function which will be function erase which will be this function right here and then we are going to be just writing a little bit of content inside there so the first check will be if character index is greater than zero in this case uh character index if character index is less than this words and now in this case like in the erase case if character index is zero then we want to just write this content like uh type um text span dot text content will be equals to now words and index index and it will be now equals to dot sub string method and we want to pass a zero and then character index minus one okay and then we want to just decrement our character uh, index right here here we are incrementing it and here in the erase function we are decrementing it and then here we are going to be just passing their set timeout function and we want to pass the erase function which we just created like this function and then we have to just pass like uh, erasing delay del erasing delay uh, variable which we just created right here okay and then in the else block we are going to be writing like index plus plus you want to increment our index and then if index is greater than or equals to words dot length and then you want to just write like index index uh index is equals to zero and then we want to just write like set timeout and we want to pass a type function and the typing delay typing delay and plus 1100 okay so that's there so now let me just show you that code very really quickly so the first thing which we did we just grab our two elements then we create these variables right here then we have a type function which allows us to type this um type this text which we are going to be rendering right here like these texts and the erase method will just allows us to just erase this text from this ui right here okay so now let's just add event to our document dot add event listener of dom content loaded okay and now here we are going to be passing like this um function right here so this code means like when our dom is rendered so this event will fire when the content loads up okay so then here we are going to be also checking like if words dot length is uh like if this is true like if we have words dot length if this is a true the value so then we want to just write like set timeout and then we have to just pass our time function and new letter delay okay and if this is not happening so you want to fire this erase function so once we save our file and save it not type but just type save our file and now we should see awesome a w e s o m e so that's not cool we don't want that so what is going on let me check oh it should not be new letter delay it should be a typing delay okay so once we save it and now let's check it awesome the first one is world is awesome and now it will erase it all right so now we are done with javascript so now let's try it over on css a bit so the first thing which you have to do for a css 
is to just write a research. So I'll just write like a uh, padding will be zero and margin will be also zero and box sizing will be border box. Okay, save it and it will just remove the empty space from there. And now we can go side by side and we will select our body, display will be flex and justify content will be center. Align items will be also center. Height will be 100 VH and font family will be sans serif and background color will be totally black and text color will be totally white okay so once we save it and this is now perfectly center and now let's just uh, format this javascript and the uh, letters okay so now let me select my paragraph and now let's just provide a little bit of font size to it to like 3m 3rem cell file and this is looking a bit better so now let's select our javascript which is this text right here uh which is this javascript so now let's select that javascript and then we have to just provide a color of yellow and once we save our file so here you can see our javascript is now yellow and now the next thing that you have to do is to just write like type and then text and here we have to just pass like color of uh, 20 c 20 e save it and this is our greenish kind of color right here okay so the final thing which you have to do is to also select this cursor and change the background color of it to like something else so cursor and background color will be that 20 c 20 e save it and this is our cursor right here and this is our text and this is our javascript so now let me make it a bit bigger so we can see it a bit better so javascript is famous and javascript is weird um yeah javascript is weird javascript is awesome javascript is fun cool and you can also put emojis if you want to just write a comma and then just provide your emoji like whichever emoji you like in my case i'll just write like s and i guess that would be fine save it and it will now render it of course i guess so now it will also render that emoji I don't know <laughs> let me just remove these emojis from there their server file so now if you guys don't know about get and github so feel free to skip this video and jump right into the next one or if you do know get and github and you want to push your project into your github repository so that's what i'm going to do right now so you can stick around if you want to if you want to leave so you can also leave so the first thing which i'm going to do is i was just try like get status it will give us that all 16 get uh add everything and then get commit dash m and I want to just say like, uh, I don't know, auto text uh, project would be fine. And then hit it, then get push origin main. And now our changes are live. All right, so now let, let me check my Git repository. So if I just refresh my browser, so here you can see we have this auto text project right here. And here's the HTML code. Uh, I mean, here's the JavaScript code. And here's the HTML code and this one is a css code right here okay so i guess that was it about today's video and i'll see you in the next video bye bye